Welcome in, everybody. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm Erin. I'm Erin of Erin Bun Paints, if you didn't put that all together with my name. Um, thanks for coming tonight. Thanks for coming out. We have a big crowd yet again tonight, so thanks everybody for joining in. Uh, don't hesitate to ask any questions in the chat, either right now or throughout the event. I'm happy to go through them and answer. There's lots of lovely people in the chat who will probably answer you as well before I even do, so <laughs> everyone's very helpful here. Everyone's very lovely. Just any questions at all about the painting, about the tutorial, about what the heck is Twitch, if you're new to Twitch, we're all lovely and happy to help you, so just ask us anything at all. Um, for those who are brand new to like this whole concept, maybe you're like, what the heck is going on? I clicked on this channel, what's going on right now? I'm going to teach you step by step how to paint this painting here. Uh, this painting is nameless. I purposely don't name it because I like to hear what you guys want to name it. So that's a little activity you can do in the chat right now. If you have any name suggestions, feel free to put some name suggestions in the chat. I eventually upload um, all of this footage that we are about to have um, to YouTube. Uh, so I like to name the title, I guess, uh, based on a, a painting title that you suggest in the comments. So please feel free to do that. And then you might see your painting title in the YouTube title page. So, uh, do that as well. Uh, what else here? I guess if you want a nice digital version of the painting, that is available on other social medias of mine. So just for clarification, I'll be painting along with you step by step. So you kind of see the final painting here, but I'm going to replace this with a blank canvas and actually paint right along with you in a couple minutes. Um, so if you'd like to see a nice like steady digital version of this painting, it's uh, on Facebook. You can check it out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Aaron Bun Paints. It'll be um, in the event page section, kind of like displayed in the event banner photo. You can also check it out on Instagram, instagram.com slash Aaron Bun Paints. There is currently a nice, just stable digital version there. And then also on Discord for anybody who likes using Discord. I do have a Discord community going and uh, this painting is also in the step-by-step uh, -step tutorial channel for you to view. Okay. Uh, so lots of places you can see it because again, it'll be disappearing in the next minute or two so I can paint along with you. In terms of supplies, um, I keep the supplies the same every single tutorial just to keep it really easy. You don't need to invest in new stuff every single week if you want to join me every week. Uh, and I keep the number of colors really simple, really small. Um, so I'll just go over them really quick with you just so you know what they are. Um, we have five different paint colors today. We'll be using black, white, phthalo blue, red, and yellow. And then the brushes I have are the usual three sizes. Um, I use a large flat brush. This is technically a size 12. I use a medium round brush, technically a size 6, and then a small round brush, a size 1. You do not need to get the exact sizes. I just kind of recommend having a couple different sizes of brush, a couple different shapes, and then that way you can kind of learn what works for you and kind of replace them with uh, what I'm using as well. But those are my brushes. And then otherwise supplies include um, maybe a cup of paint water. That's always great to have because we'll be washing our brushes here and there and using water to blend. Uh, I have a towel. If you have a paper towel, that's fine. I just kind of reuse a towel every time. It's uh, nice and colorful and crusty now. This is what I got. <laughs> uh, you'll want a plate or something to use as a palette. Um, I use my infamous volcano plate. This is my plate that I've used for five years with a uh, a solid amount of paint on top. I just keep adding to it and that's why it's called the volcano. It's a nice volcano shape. I'm sure you have something a little more efficient rather than a volcano. That's fine. This is just what I use. <laughs> uh, and then otherwise, hopefully you're wearing something you don't mind getting paint on. I'm wearing an apron today. Thank you, Terry, as always for the apron. She made this custom for me. Look at my name right there. It's so freaking cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise any, any clothing that you don't mind getting paint on is a good thing to uh, consider. And uh, yeah, those are pretty much all the supplies. I'm gonna replace this with my blank canvas and we can actually get to painting. I'm sure lots of you wanna get to painting. By the way, if some of you are hanging out just not painting, that's totally fine too. Everyone's allowed, everyone's welcome, everyone's appreciated. You can chat in the chat about whatever you want. Maybe you just wanna have a nice Friday night with a big group of people. You're here, let's party. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna start painting. So I'm gonna use my large flat brush to begin with. So you can grab that and I'm going to go into my paint water, dip that in there. Oh, this thing's heavy. It's uh, <laughs> kind of flew off of my table as I grabbed it. We're going to start by mixing. I kind of like bluish purple. So I mix three different colors for this. I'm going to mix some phthalo blue. I'm going to mix a teeny bit of red in there 
and then some white as well. So it's gonna be kind of this more toned down, kind of bluish purple. It's not like the brightest thing in the world, but yeah, bluish purple is what I'm calling it. So you can take your large flat brush, mix again blue, tiny bit of red, and some white. Love your headband. Thank you, Brittany, and I'm glad the rest of your stream went well. I've changed my hairstyle today, but not my headband. It's the one thing that I kept consistent. I've changed my shirt today. <laughs> headband is the one consistent thing. But yeah, here's that uh, winter scene. You saw that little winter scene? We were talking about my winter scenes. Doing one tonight. I got another one next week. I'll get into it. I'm telling you, the next week or so, there's going to be lots, lots that I'll be doing. So blue, little bit of red, and then white as well. So three colors for this. And I mean, I'll say it, um, I'll say it. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say it. Feel free to change up the painting. You do not need to be making the exact same colors of me as me. If you don't like something or you want to change it up a little bit, please feel free to do so, okay? So I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing if you want to match it, but just always keep in mind, it's more important that you like the painting, right? So uh, that's more important. Don't worry about getting things exact. All right, I've got my bluish purple, what I'm calling bluish purple. I'm just going to start by applying that near the top of my canvas. At the top, it's not near the top, it's at the very top. And I'm just doing like an inch or two, sticking it kind of close to the top so we have lots of room to blend some other colors down later. So just big strokes back and forth, using lots of paint to help it spread a little bit nicer. Some people like to dip their brush in the water to help spread the paint as well. I don't do that as often, but that is an option if you like. I'm just going back and forth all the way across. <laughs> Mom or dad, I think they're all there. I don't know who's typing, but pretty sure all three, mom, dad, and brother are there tonight. Elvin, welcome in. Hi there, I won't be able to follow along. Oh, no worries. Uh, work on painting. Oh, sure, sure. No worries. I saw your setup, though. I'm pumped that you have your setup all figured out. It's all ready for whatever you want to work on. You said coasters. That's exciting. With acrylics or something else, Alvin? First step. Done. Just to sticking that right on top. I'll give you a quick minute in case maybe you're like, first step, just kind of like getting used to the paint, putting it on there, and then we're going to blend this as our next step. A wise man, welcome in. First time on Twitch, not painting tonight though. No worries. If you have any questions about Twitch, what you're seeing around, please let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the show. Feel free to chat <laughs> as you like. Uh, feel free to just watch if you want, but uh, we're here to help if you need any help. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited, Brittany. Yeah, we, I know we were talking a lot about the winter scenes and stuff. Are you into that too, more so like uh, landscapes? I know you usually do like the ornaments and stuff like that, but do you ever dabble in the landscapes? Welcome in magical. Hi. I think the canvas works best for heavy body paint. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do that, Phoenix. I don't usually, and I guess it's because I use more of a thin paint. I don't have like the heaviest body acrylic, but yeah, I know a lot of people who do that as a regular practice. So it's interesting you said that. Acrylics and acrylic paint pens. Ooh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't use much water, but it'll help spread. Exactly, yeah, dragon. It's just something I'm careful with because if I use too much, I find it really easily starts to thin out and like get a little bit too thin to the point where the canvas shows through. So I try and be careful with it. Oh yeah, Sparrow, ooh, okay. Well, that's good because I do too. <laughs> okay, so what you can do if you're done with your bluish purple is you can wash your brush off. I'm using the same brush. You want to wash it off because the next color we're using is white, actually. It doesn't really look like there's white, but I promise there is. The reason is, um, if we were to blend like a bluish purple into an orange, you're going to get a muddy color in between. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to blend a little bit of white below here. It creates what I call a buffer zone in between the two colors so that it kind of looks like they're all blended, but they don't actually really mix together to make a muddy color. So that's what I'm doing now. I'll be doing the buffer zone of white. So I have a nice clean brush now. I'm going to use just plain white paint. Just 
And what I'm doing is I'm applying that right below that bluish purple and also a little bit into the bluish purple. So a little below, so a little bit like on the new area of canvas, but also right on top so it fades it out. So I'm purposely trying to move the brush into that bluish purple back and forth and you can see what it does is it fades it out. So see that it looks like a nice transition now from like this, this brighter color down to a little bit lighter until it disappears into white. Give you a quick minute for that and then we wanna go right along so we can keep blending. Acrylic paint dries pretty quick, so we wanna just always make sure we're moving along as we're blending. We have a few little blending steps um, in the sky there. Not sure if I shouted you at Brittany, so I'm just gonna do it now. If you got it twice, then cool. <laughs> the closest I get to landscapes is having an outdoor background. Okay, okay. I gotcha, okay, okay. But still more so like focusing on one thing. I see. No worries, Christy, I understand. All good, all good. Just with the main subject, I see. Landscapes are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, I don't know what it is. I think recently I was talking about this in your stream a little bit. I didn't really dive further into it, but I said recently I've been more into landscapes. I've always kind of been into them, but more so like recently, I think it's more that I just like feeling the urge to get out, get away a bit, you know, travel a bit. So I've been wanting to paint all the places I've been wanting to go. I know technically we can still go outside and stuff, but I'm feeling the urge to like travel and go specific places or like find escapes recently. So I think that's kind of like my vibe recently. That's why I'm doing a lot of landscapes. But yeah, in general, I love doing them anyway. Mm-hmm, landscapes are my fave too, dragon. Yeah, you and me, you and me. Oh, of course, always. Always, Brittany. Mmm, I have a couple extra fine paint pens. I gotcha, okay. What are some designs you're gonna do? Just like little trees and stuff like that? Little ornaments on there? Cool concept. Yeah, paying the places. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, I think kind of just like internally, kind of sub subconsciously, I think that is kind of what it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, I've always been into painting them, but more recently it's like, like I painted this, uh, that really rainbowy kind of galaxy sky recently in just like an unknown world. That was the vibe for that one. Yeah, I was like, let's go somewhere. <laughs> All right, next up everybody, I'm gonna start blending down into a little bit of yellow. So I kind of go back forth. I do a little bit of stripes. I do kind of a tiny bit of yellow to help with the transition from yellow to orange. I'll go back to yellow, back to orange. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I just wanted lots of different warm colors in there rather than a smooth transition. So that's what I did. So I've washed off my brush. It's the same brush, the large flat brush. Just grabbing a little bit of yellow, not much is needed. And I start by going just a little bit below the white. So we have a little bit of plain white paint here and I'm just grabbing a little bit of yellow sweeping across below. And then what you can do is lightly start to swipe it across, trying to blend it into the white a little bit. So what I'm trying to avoid is I'm trying to avoid bringing the yellow right up into the bluish purple. I'm just trying to bring it close by so that it kind of blends into the yellow and kind of fades away or blends into the, excuse me, uh, bluish purple fades away. So again, not mixing the two colors, just kind of fading them into one another. It's like a little illusion. We're playing a trick on everybody. We're not getting that muddy in between. We're just getting them close enough together that they look blended. If you ever need to, you can always, always go back to another color. So if you need to go back to some white, for example, you can. If maybe the colors are getting a little too close together or you wanna fade them out, you can always just grab a little extra white on there. And just sweep in between and that'll help fade them out without really making them mix together. So a little bit of white if you need. There you go. See, it just lightened it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Glad you're enjoying those new emotes, man. I love seeing them. I love seeing them. See you, uh, Christy. See you tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll see you then. <laughs> nice emote you got there. It's just a wee bit of yellow. Again, if you like yellow, you can do lots of yellow. Just doing a teeny bit for now. Thanks, CJ, I worked on them yesterday. 
Thanks, Magical. Thanks. Do you paint at all? I know you're new to the chat. Do you paint at all? You just like watching some art streams? Let us know. All right, so I'm going to move right on to orange now. You can see, again, just a tiny bit of yellow. It's mostly orange, though, that we're going to kind of blend in here. So I'm going to use the same brush again. I'm going to go back to my plate, and I'm going to mix yellow with just a little bit of red. Yellow. <laughs> yellow with a little bit of red. I like my oranges a little bit lighter, so I use a little extra yellow in there rather than even amounts of yellow and red. But again, it's your panning. You should do what you want. So once again, just kind of doing a small stripe of orange. I'm still not doing a whole lot of color here. I'm just leaving lots of space for lots of uh, transitions in our sky. So I applied the orange and then I'm just kind of lightly sweeping it across so it blends into the yellow. So trying to get my brush in between the yellow and orange, that way it blends together. So you can see in the end the yellow might disappear a little bit but adding the yellow does help because it helps with the whole transition through. If we were to use the orange and blend it into the white it may have been just a little bit more difficult. Orange is just a darker color so yellow just helps with that transition. I'm gonna think of yellow every time I say yellow now CJ. <laughs> you paint and draw. Oh, okay acrylics or something else magical. You're welcome Christy. Speaking of new emotes. Oh got an oh I want to do something like that, Todd. I want to do some nice little Christmas buns. We'll see. I hope I get to it. That's so cute, though. Nice little candy cane boop. So a higher tier. Oh, so those buns, Cindy, are actually bit buns. Um, they're unlocked by bits. I don't have the exact amounts right now, but I can give them to you at the end if you want. Those new ones are bit buns. <laughs> bit buns. Oh, cozy in the red. Oh, I love it. This is great inspo, Todd. Thank you. <laughs> Hey girl, hey November, what's up? Yeah, everyone's doing different emotes now. Watching the Grinch and you at the same time. Oh yeah, the classic or Jim Carrey? Acrylics too, ooh, magical, cool. I hope you learned something here. Maybe you're already an expert, I don't know. <gasps> See, Brittany's got some beautiful ones. Oh, I love her so much, Brittany. That's such a cute, do you make your own emotes, Brittany? So cute, the little lurk, I love it. Mm-hmm. Look at all these. Keep sharing your fun emotes. This is great. So I'm going to go back to using yellow again. <laughs> again, I kind of stripe back and forth. I did yellow. I did orange. I'm going back to yellow and I'll go back to orange. I don't know why. I just wanted to. I wanted lots of different colors kind of transitioning. So whatever. It's my world. I do what I want. Um, I'm grabbing the same brush. I washed it off just to get the orange off of there. And I'm going back into my yellow paint, just plain yellow. Same thing, I'm going to sweep it across kind of underneath of the orange and then blend it in. Maya, hey! Thank you for resubbing for two months. Wow, 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 two months. I know! How have you been? I saw you doing a fun stream today. I didn't really tune in. I saw it in my email, gonna be honest. I saw a fun title. How did that go? Siblings or couples? <laughs> Was that fun? You do do your own emotes. Ah, oh, Brittany. Lady of many talents, my gosh. Uh, Mish, I think my sky is getting too low. Hmm, do you want a little check here? I think I'm about a quarter of the way down. I'm going a little lower than here, I guess, but I'm about a quarter. Um, I would say by the end, we're almost a third of the way down. If you go a little too low, Mish, that's okay. You can always cover up. So if you want maybe now to adjust, you can just do a couple stripes, like do the yellow stripe a little smaller and then the next orange stripe even smaller as well. So guys, I'm just wiping back and forth to blend that yellow orange. And then I'll do it one more time with orange yet again. Favorite color is yellow. So you'd probably just do a totally yellow sky. You don't need any of these other colors. You don't need orange. You don't need blue purple. Do what I want. 
bits and tears for buns got it yeah it was something i just recently not recently learned i recently took advantage of cindy we have more emote slots for bits so yep you can contribute bits and uh, unlock more emotes and i believe they're unlocked forever once you contribute those bits Thanks for shouting up, Maya. I meant to do that. <laughs> I've been good. I missed hanging out here. Oh, that's okay. I know you've been uh, you've been streaming a little bit. I've seen you in the emails. Again, I'm always sad that I can't tune in. I know we stream usually around the same time, but I'd be watching here and there. But I hope it was fun today. Again, it sounded like such a fun little thing you were doing, and I've seen uh, seen others do something similar. So, yeah, I hope it was a good time. No worries, Mish. All right, one more time, everybody. I'm doing a little bit more orange, so it's just the same process. I'll repeat it again just in case. I'm just using the same brush, the large flat brush, a little bit of orange on here. I'm going to wipe it across. And then blend it into the yellow. And I'm trying to keep them relatively straight, but that's kind of the fun thing about blending is that you don't really need to keep it completely straight, even though you can see this is going at an angle. When I start to blend it into the color above it, it kind of hides any imperfections, like any of those slight angles, slight tilts. You can hardly see it. I can still maybe fix it up a little bit. Maybe I'll add a little more orange on this side. But not much. Not much is needed. Just keep wiping back and forth. And again, go back. Go back to your old colors as you need them, right? If you need to re-add some yellow to kind of thicken up a stripe, um, or re-add orange, you can always go back as things are wet and continue to blend. There we go. All right, so I'll give a quick minute or two just to make sure everyone's good with their sky. Again, you can use this time to go back, re-blend things, re-add color if you need to, uh, because the next few steps are going to be working with the river. Actually, we'll be doing the river next. Hmm. <laughs> Never sad with those bits. Welcome in Pyramid Stream. Faye, no worries. Yes, it's always available later. It's available instantly on Twitch when I end the stream. And then it will be available on YouTube eventually as well. I am uploading those to YouTube still. Yeah, no worries. If you want to hang out in the meantime, you're welcome to. But if you need to go, that's okay. Um, but yeah, just as a tip, you can always ask me questions while I'm painting now. So that when you're ready to paint later, you got all your questions answered. Feel free to hang out. Doing well, that's good. There's an Instagram called Siblings Are Day. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I heard there's a subreddit for it, but now there's an Instagram. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm aware of the concept. That's why I saw the title. I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Bob Ross, wipe it across. Good rhyme. <laughs> See, Wookie knows. They're very funny. Oh, thank you, Wookie, for answering Faye. Are you painting along today, Pyramid? Oh, I love the mixture of all the emotes. Beautiful, beautiful. All of them are friends. I don't think I've seen the little doggy one, Maya. I'm not sure if that's new, but I've never seen that one thrown before. He's cute. Yeah, hmm. That's all right. We'll see. We'll see. All good, Groki. All good. All right, let's see what we've got here. So we've got our sky on. We don't have much more with the sky. We'll be doing the sun a little bit later once things have dried. Uh, but what we're going to work on next is this nice river. So what I wanted to do or what I did do, I guess, when I was making this is I mapped out the river first. So I kind of sketched out the general shape. It's just kind of a small little mouth at the top and then it gets nice and wide on the way down. I made it kind of curve around, obviously. And then what I did is I added some purples. I started with the dark purples kind of here and here, added some white to keep it a little bit lighter where the sun will eventually be. And then later on, I'll add some yellow to make it look a little bit lighter in the reflection with the kind of like buttery yellow sun down here. So a couple steps, but uh, I'll go through it with you all step by step, of course. So for the brush, um, you could use really any brush that you like to use to kind of outline or sketch out things. For me, that is the medium round brush. So I'm just going to use this just to kind of map out where my river is so I get comfortable with where I'm painting and then I might switch to a larger brush to help actually fill it in. So I'm just going to use a very, very light purple to map this out. 
Um, I will switch to a darker purple when we're actually filling it in, but for now, just to make it a little bit easier to cover up if I make a mistake or I wanna make a change, I'm gonna make a light purple. So I've got a medium round brush. I'm on my plate here mixing a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, and then some white just to lighten it up. Again, this color doesn't really matter. This is just kind of the sketch out color. We're gonna cover up this color anyway. So any light color will do. You could do a light blue, you could do light anything. I'm just choosing purple because I love purple. Love the emoji. That's good, that's good. I worked hard on them. I'm glad you like them. Vod is available. Oh, is it my, I didn't know that. Thank you. Vod is available as soon as you start streaming. You don't have to wait. Thank you so much. If anyone's looking for that, I guess you can actually start now. Thank you, Maya, that's very helpful. That's my dog, Mocha. Oh, he's so cute. I figured he was your little doggy if he was your emote. He's adorable. All right, so if you like the design I made with my river, I'm just gonna start anywhere kind of near the middle here. Middle, like right under the horizon line. I'm gonna start with a small mouth for the river. As it's further away, it's gonna be smaller. I did a quick, quick angle over here. Brought it off of the canvas, so it's kind of going all the way this way, swinging all the way to the right. I love watching Bob Ross. Me too, me too. You quoting a song, Pyramid? What's up? You're here to cause trouble? We'll see. I'm here for Purple River. That's good. That's good. Do you paint it all, Pyramid? So we got it over here. Now we're going to dip back the other way. So it's like a quick little curve. Not even a curve. I would say more of an angle. It just kind of goes right over this way. I'm bringing it down a little lower than halfway. So if halfway's about here, it'll land a little lower than halfway. Angling kind of down as you go. And then again, as it becomes closer, or as it comes closer to us, we want to widen it out. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we're doing the second line now. We're just making sure we're making it go a little bit further away from the other line as we come down. It's going to end anywhere kind of in the bottom corner. Um, it doesn't really matter where we end it because we will be covering up these areas with a little bit of bush, a little bit of tree. So if it ends here or ends here, all of that's going to look pretty much the same anyway. Love that dog magical. So cute. <laughs> Limited time. Oh, really? A little glitchy dog. Who's Art of Jim? Ooh. Do you recommend James? And this is a very basic river shape. Um, in my original, you can see there are some little kind of like points coming out just to make it look like there's some snow maybe coming in and out. We can add those later, so don't worry about those details now. It's more so just mapping out where the river is going to be so we can fill it in nice and easily with some purple. So there's that. It's all ready to go. I couldn't find or could find. I honestly don't remember. I feel bad now. Oh no, oh no. Heart of Jim, I don't remember. <laughs> couldn't okay couldn't find okay well i'll keep them up maybe we'll rate them later Ooh. all right so let's start filling in our river so when i did my river and by the way you can do this in any order you want oh digital interest i don't remember this guy i don't remember this guy james um we've got a nice dark purple we're gonna start with the dark purples and then we're gonna make them a little bit lighter as we go in by blending in white very quickly so we're starting to look at this color here that color here, some nice deep dark purples. I'm personally gonna switch to a large flat brush for this so that I can cover more area quickly. If you'd rather keep to a medium round brush or just anything smaller to be a little more safe, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going back to my plate here. I'm mixing red and blue, just the two colors this time, red and blue. I'm not mixing any white into them. And again, do any, um, any shade you like. I personally like purples with more red. I find they become a little bit brighter. 
but yeah, lots of different, uh, different tones of this color. So feel free to experiment with the amount of red and blue you're using. Just different stuff. Oh, okay. Any trout in the river? In your world, there can be lots of trout, of course. You can even add a little fisher person doing some ice fishing. Totally. A whole month left in. Oh, really? Okay. You've been keeping up. Red and blue. Red and blue. Pet emotes are my fave on Twitch. You got them all locked and ready. <laughs> yeah, there's some good ones. I like the regular just dog in the global emotes. It's like, woof. <laughs> ah. I love them so much. Okay. So you can see nice and dark to begin with, and we're going to blend it into a lighter purple as we go. So don't be afraid if it starts very dark. That's the whole point. So we get a nice transition. So I'm starting on the left-hand side. I'm bringing it further in. Maybe about to here. So if you're following where my sun is going to go, it's going to go about here. So I just want to make sure I'm leaving a little bit of a gap here so we can add some white. And what's going to happen is it's going to stay nice and bright in here. And then we're going to blend it so it transitions further into here. So it won't stay this dark. Don't worry. If you're worried about how dark it's looking, it will lighten up as we blend the white in there. So I'm bringing the purple over, over here. Over, over here. <laughs> My talking isn't very good today. I don't know what it is. And then I bring some dark purple over on the right hand side as well. So just sweeping in a little bit. And again, you can see how messy I'm being. I'm not worried if I'm going a little bit outside the lines. You know, it's not quite the nice clean shape that I want it quite yet, the shoreline that is. And that's because when we add the white for the snow, we can use the white to kind of clean that all up. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's pretty good there. So I'll give a quick 30 seconds for this. I do want to work a little quick because we want this to stay nice and wet to blend. So put that purple on there at your own pace, but just know you'll want to move on to the next step quite, quite fast. Oh, really, James? Oh, man. Yeah, I've got them up on my other screen here. I'll, uh, I'll keep a watch. I'll keep a watch. Primary color. Yeah, I only use primaries in black and white. Yeah, Art of Gem. Mm hmm. That's wild. Yeah, James just said he did a whole month of that. So that's a talent. <laughs> that's such a challenge. Like, let's just learn to paint or do digital art in general. He's like, let's just do it with our non-dominant hand. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't remember him. I just don't remember a digital. Yeah, I don't know. I'd need to look up his old VODs. I trust you, though. I trust that maybe we raided him or I was trying to find him or something. Anyway. We got him up. We got him up. I'll keep watching. All right. So again, quickly moving along to the next step, we want to make sure we're blending while this purple is still nice and wet. So I've washed off my large flat brush. Again, that's the brush I'm choosing to use. I'm grabbing just plain white paint. I'm going to start in the middle here so we get a nice bright spot. And then what I'm doing is I'm sweeping into the purple. So I'm purposely trying to grab some of that wet purple from my canvas and move it around using my brush. So now you can see what's happening. The white starts blending with the purple. We get a nice medium purple. And I'm just sweeping back and forth, back and forth, kind of lightly as well. I'm not really pressing super hard because I want it a little bit more feathery, like a nice little transition. And you can see I really bring it far, far over to the left. So it's really just the very edge that's nice and dark. I really like the transition over. So just sweeping back and forth, allowing those two to mix. If you feel like your brush has a little too much purple on it, maybe you're just spreading purple around too much and you're like, oh no, my white is disappearing. Just wipe off your brush a little bit or even wash it off so it's nice and clean. You can either use the clean brush again and that'll help kind of keep the purple where it was, you know, because you're now working in this nice clean area back and forth. Or you can even grab a little bit of white on your brush and that'll again help counteract the purple, kind of keep it in its spot so you still have a nice bright spot in the middle. So that's what I did. I quickly wiped off my brush. So there's no extra purple on here. And that way I'm kind of blending in this area where it's mostly white with a teeny bit of purple and it comes out a little bit cleaner. Look at that. There we go. And very loose. I'm kind of like holding the brush in my fingertips. It's very loosely just kind of going... That painting ASMR. So 
So that's the one side. Oh, it looks a little harsh there. Let's fix that. There we go. So for example, I might want to grab a little more white because it's feeling a little dry there. I'm just going to tap on a little white and then blend. There we go. And again, at this stage, re-add color. So if something isn't blending, it's kind of like scraping along and you see that the white and purple just aren't blending together. Maybe one is stacking on top of the other. That usually means something's a little bit dry. So in this case, it's probably going to be the purple that's a little dry because we put that on first. So if you need to, grab a little bit of purple on your brush, use that in between, just little bits at a time, and that'll help blend them together. Oh, I see, James. Okay, I kind of remember now. You got it, Brittany. Do you make sounds when you paint? <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> Even when I'm not doing tutorials, I'm like... It helps me, it helps me. Rolling Purple River got some movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the idea. I like everything kind of moving with it. Exactly. That's a good point, actually, Pyrium. I'm kind of stroking in the direction of the river. It's all kind of going angled. Then I'll start stroking up and down like this. So again, I added a little bit of white to my brush to help with blending. I might add a little more purple there because I think it's all kind of getting dry up there. Just little bits at a time and then stroking back and forth. And I mean, don't worry if, if you get to a point where maybe the white has disappeared, but you're left with a very light spot, that's all right too. It's kind of just in preparation for adding yellow later. So as long as you have some bright spots so that you can put yellow on top later, that's really the main goal. Again, I'm just re-adding some purple, just darkening it a little bit, sweeping in. There we go. I'll grab a little more white just to finish her off. One of my favorite parts of Bob's videos is that you can hear him. I know. I agree, James. That's why I kind of try to keep my setup the way it is during my other streams with the microphone right by the canvas. I really don't know if you guys can really hear it, but I, I hope that you can. <laughs> I hope in the rare times where I'm not talking and just painting, you can hear the ch -ch 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 of the brush. I know it's not like Bob, but it's something. Like, I don't know if that picks up, but there you go. I tried. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I feel like a lot of us do, Brittany. <laughs> I don't know why. It just helps. Came in late. Listen, Bill. Oh, yeah. Faye, no worries. Um, Enola, thanks very much for the follow. Alerts are turned off just because we're doing a tutorial, but welcome in. Um, yes, Faye, it's actually potentially available right now. Maya said that um, you might be able to watch VODs as their um, videos on demand. You might be able to watch them as they're being recorded. So try clicking the video tab right now and you might be able to start this from the start actually, if you're interested, but otherwise, yes, it will be available later. Dark, welcome in, hello. Thanks for alert canine. Thank you, Wookie, for answering. You're so good. Every time I like answer, I like go three more down. You're already there. <laughs> No problem, Nola. Yeah, feel free to hang out. I'm not sure if you're uh, painting along or just uh, having a good time watching. Welcome to the chat, though. Welcome in, Allie. Hanging out. Sounds great. Sounds great. Hope you're having a good Friday night, Allie. All right, I'll just give you once again a minute or two if you want to keep blending. Again, re-add some purples, re-add some whites, move them around a bit. Then we'll move right along here. Yay! I always love all the little welcomes. Hello, 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 hello. Just gonna do a little quick comparison for you. I'll move off, you can have a look. So yeah, it looks like my purple got maybe a little darker here. Maybe I just moved the white over a little bit more to this purple, it makes it a little brighter. You can adjust as you like. And that's important to see. I like to do comparisons because it really shows you guys that even I make different paintings. It's always not going to be the exact same. Despite me painting this literally last week and then going to this one this week, they're always going to be slightly different. And that's not a bad thing. So don't worry if yours is looking slightly different here and there. As long as you're liking it, that's important. Never golfed, huh? Interesting. So you're just partying in the sand on the golf course? Ooh, enjoying your leftovers. Oh, dark. Enjoy those for me too. Take take a helping for me, okay? 
Not painting along, but I enjoy listening. Sure, sure. Oh, and you're painting too. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's not like painting along with my design. I love to hear that, Anola. So that's great. Feel free to talk about and share what you're painting, but otherwise I totally get if you're concentrated. So enjoy, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so assuming we've got our river on, now what we can do is we can start to fill up the empty space above and below. So the empty space is all just some nice, beautiful, light blue, streaky snow. We're gonna put some trees on it a little bit later, but for now we will cover the whole thing, even though we have lots of trees that are really covering. I mean, I guess if you wanna save paint, maybe you're low on white or a little low on blue, you could just kind of do the shoreline a little bit and assume you'll be covering all up with trees, but I just like to be safe and technically do all of those blank spots so that if in the rare case that maybe there's a little bit showing through, I am just comfortable knowing that there's some snow coming through rather than canvas. So I'll be covering the whole thing. If you wanna save paint, you could stick to the shoreline here, stick a little further down here, and again, the shoreline up here. I am going to keep using my large flat brush, wash it off if it has any purple or any kind of river colors left over on it. And I'm going to start just by using white. I'm kind of going to go section by section. I'm not going to paint all of these white and then go back because it might dry by then. So I'm just going to do one section of white and then I'll show you how to blend in some blue so you get those nice kind of soft streaky blues rather than just a plain light blue or a plain white or anything in between. So again, I'm grabbing plain white. Plain white. Big ol' blob. Big ol' blob. I'm going to start in the top left. Doesn't matter which section you start in. I'm just starting in one, again, for the purpose of keeping the paint nice and wet. I'm only not working on a three. Whoa! Three foot by four foot canvas doing some abstract. Wow! Some koi. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Good luck. That is a big project. And Nola, I don't know if you use Discord. We have a Discord community, though. If you want to, if you want to share that. I'm sure we'd love to see it. There's a little link if you're interested, but otherwise keep painting away. I'm just excited for you. <laughs> Who starts a painting without enough paint to finish? A lot of people just because of the pandemic pyramid, right? Some people have limited supplies and they might want to be saving up for the next like couple weeks, couple months, however long it is. So I always just try and be conscious of that. You know, some people like to save the paint and just for value, you know, even if they don't, even if they have enough, they might just want to save it anyway. So that's what I always recommend. I usually give little tips for those who are saving at the moment. Um, yeah, stock is a very big issue at some stores right now too. So especially white paint. White paint is like liquid gold apparently. <laughs> no one can find white sometimes. So when there's places to save it, I will point it out as best as I can. So yeah, nice thick amount of white if you have it. <laughs> and again, you can see I'm kind of cleaning up the shoreline too. So you can really do a nice solid edge you know, using lots of paint and just kind of overlapping the purple a little bit. And I really like the look of having a couple little points coming out. So I just kind of move my brush over. I'm using the thin edge of the brush. I move it to the right and then back into the left. So it just looks like there's little pieces, little, uh, little points of snow coming out. Just adds a little something extra to the shoreline. There we go. Okay, just giving a quick 30 seconds and then I'll teach you how to blend in those blues. Don't feed, don't feed James, it's cool. Sure, I can show you around. Yeah, Anola, I, I'm sure we'd all love to see it. I'm, that's exciting. <laughs> Three by four foot koi's, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> show me everything. Show me, show me. Me Harper, welcome and thank you for the follow. Just for context, we're doing a tutorial today, so there's no alerts popping up, but I see you in the uh, in the dashboard. So welcome and feel free to chat if you want to just uh, hang out and watch. That's cool too. Queen, thank you for the follow as well. Same thing, same thing. Feel free to chat, feel free to watch. Doing a tutorial right now, step by step. Titanium white is out here. See, yeah, for example, and like everywhere, James, everywhere. It's always the color that people are like, where is it? Yeah, I never check how much paint I have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like I have lots of paint and sometimes I run out. I'm just like, oh, my bottles are somewhere else. Oops. Water down the paint. I do what I can. Mm-hmm. 
Plenty. Oh yeah, you bought recently. What's the two thousand? Take the crappy kind. Of, ah, okay. <laughs> Who live on the edge. <laughs> Taking those artiste risks. All right, so once we have our white on here, I'm just using the same brush again. I didn't wash it off. I still have loads of white in there. I'm just grabbing a tiny amount of blue. And it looks like it's light blue. That's simply because there was white on the brush. I kind of dipped into the regular phthalo blue, which looks a little bit darker on the plate. But once I kind of wipe it off a little bit, it turns a little lighter just because of the white on the brush. So I didn't quite mix it, but it just kind of mixed by itself. Point is, I just want you to grab a tiny bit of blue. Just a tiny bit of blue. The phthalo blue specifically, very powerful color. So just a little is needed. And now what we can do is kind of just wipe it on top, just stroking it on top. So I just kind of follow like the flow of the snow. So it's kind of coming in and out a little bit, kind of in and out of the river. So I'm just keeping these little streaks in there. I like the idea of keeping some plain white, some of it a little bit darker blue, some of it very faded out blue. And because that white paint is still wet, it just kind of glides on. You can just glide your brush across. This part doesn't really matter up here because there will be a lot of trees. But like I said, there's chances that you'll see through the trees. So I still add a little bit here and there. You know, and just keep adding as much blue as you like. Maybe you like a high contrast. You can add maybe a little bit more blue. So you get some like darker streaks in there. I like mine a little softer, so I'm not adding too much more, but just so you know, you can do, again, whatever you like. Re-add white if you need to. If maybe you went a little heavy on the blue, you can use white to help blend it out. Re-add some white streaks in there. Just make sure you're washing off your brush if you're doing that so that you have, um, I uh, got you, okay. Uh, so that you can have some uh, softer areas as well. Metallic and pearl wicker, that's it. Oh, interesting. Oh, Brittany has very good vibes. <laughs> always, always. We raided her earlier, Todd. I'm not sure if you were online at that point, but you know if we raided her, she's always good vibes. Yeah, she said it too. I'm good vibes all the time. It's true, it's true. Extra shiny. Yeah, and yeah, that's just another thing. Like right now people are saving up Phoenix, whatever situation they're in, they might just not have the ability to be able to purchase a lot of paint. So that's why I mention it when I can. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Magical. Fatima's mom, welcome in. I just joined in my very behind, ooh, a little bit. We've done about 55 minutes of painting now, 50 minutes, so a little. Um, I'm happy to talk you through some things if you have any specific questions to help catch up, um, but just know that this video will be available to rewatch if you wanna just start from the from the, from the start, excuse me, go nice and slow at your own pace. I wouldn't want you to feel rushed at all, but if you wanna try it out, if you kinda feel like you know what's going on so far, feel free to catch up. I'm happy to talk you through it if you have questions, so whatever you're feeling. But yeah, we did start about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 8 p.m. EST for starting times on Friday. Okay, so I'm just doing the same thing again, everybody. I'm just going to a different area. I'm gonna go to this bottom area now. Lots of white, I'm just scooping it on, moving it around. I'm gonna add more to my plate. Again, white is always the one color that's running out. Come on, come on out. Don't burst out though. Don't do me like that. I'll grab another bottle because that one was troublesome. And again, you can be dipping your brush in your water. That also helps kind of spread out the paint, really utilizes it a little bit better. Oops. Well, find where that went. <laughs> You ever see a little dollop of paint just fly off and then you don't know where it went? Me all the time. I'll find it later. <laughs> just disappears, just like not on the carpet, not on that painting. I don't know. Just goes in the air and just disappears. Anyway, I'm filling in this bottom part. Same idea, white paint. Thank you, Wookie. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course, anytime. And again, and I upload them to YouTube in case I didn't specify that. Those take a little bit longer to find on YouTube just because it takes a little bit of time for me to export, edit, upload, etc. Um, but yeah, otherwise instantly available on Twitch, I think right now. Again, Maya taught me that, so I'll keep saying it. <laughs> 
This edge of the river here, I'm not as worried about because I pretty much do a bush all the way across. It kind of covers up the whole edge, so I'm not really going to worry about doing any fancy in and outs with my brush. Um, even like keeping it clean or a solid edge, it's just kind of caked on there. So don't worry too much. Just gonna grab more blue on my brush. Again, just a tiny dollop, kind of wiped it off a little bit. Same thing, just kind of stroking in the white, allowing it to flow wherever I want. Do some little hills if you want, like kind of go up and down with your brush as you go across. Make it nice and drifty. And again, I like the idea of keeping some of it white, some of it blue. The blue just makes it look kind of icy too, you know? So I find the more you add, the more icy it'll look. Thanks, Enola, I really appreciate it. I'm just excited to see what you're up to too. I use so much white that I have switched to buying cans of acrylic based on indoor house <laughs> Yep, yep. Um, if you don't know, I buy these uh, two liter jugs. And even those are like hard to keep in stock sometimes. They uh, they go pretty quick as well. That's funny though. <laughs> cans of acrylic based on indoor <laughs> That's so great. Dana, Dana, thank you for the follow. I just saw you there. And Fatima Small, thanks for the official follow as well. Any questions, let me know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, James, you started out with that because that's what you had at your house, exactly. I think you ended up using that, right? I'm not sure if you were joking about it, but I thought you used it. Yeah. Oh, you used some there you go. Yep. Mm-hmm. Desk has a little paint droplets over. Yeah, my boyfriend got me a new keyboard as early as Christmas gift. Ooh, yes, be careful. <laughs> if you're using acrylics though, it should come off pretty pretty easily, Elvin. It's a little bit of like work kind of picking it off, but it will come off. But it's, it's just good to be careful in general. Then you're not worried about doing that. <laughs> oh, Mioma, that's a great question. Um, Enola, James, maybe you know. Which Matt? Oh, Satin, there you go. Matt's a good choice too. There you go. Thanks for answering. Oh, Sushi, I appreciate you. Yeah, welcome in. Hope your evening's going well. And uh, watch. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to join on the convo or just watch. All good. Sushi, really nice to see you. Oh, magical. Those are um, those are emotes for subscribers. So you won't see them, unfortunately, if you type them. Yeah, it didn't work. You got to subscribe for them. It's like a benefit of subscribing. You get access to all the little emotes like that little bun. You can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. Um, if you have questions about that, let me know. I'm just going to a little more blue. I want it a little darker here and there. And I'm going to go to that last spot just up here. Doing the exact same thing one more time. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> mm, yeah, good call, Anola. Very good call. No oil based uh, house paint. Very good. I think Elvin was being sarcastic, but I'm not sure. <laughs> what are those? Yeah. <laughs> Gaming keyboard is paint free. Oh, nice. Yeah, my mouse is, uh, it's getting quite covered. Apparently it's nothing compared to a lot of other streamers on Twitch, a lot of other artist streamers, but it's getting a little spotty. <laughs> I like my things nice and clean and every time I look at it, I go, oh. <laughs> I will be a little more careful on this shoreline here because it does stay exposed. So just going a little carefully there, making sure we start from thin and then it goes a little wider as we go out. So I'm going to close up this mouth here so it has room to get wider as it comes down. Maybe a little in out here and there. And then some blue to finish her off. You weren't? Oh, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, just like a little plastic cover. Usually it's very, um, very flexible. I, it was the what are those? I was like, what are those? Um, but yeah, flexible kind of like silicone usually and you just plop it right on top. And then that way, if you're painting, like the paint will go on there, obviously. And then you take it off when you're done painting. Easy to wash, you know, rather than like electronic keyboard. Yeah. You could even get one that doesn't fit super well. It just kind of like lays on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Phoenix has got it. There you go. Yeah, that's, I was thinking of you, Todd, saying Andes. And I was like, mm, I don't compare, apparently. <laughs> I need to really like pour some paint on my stuff to compare, apparently can't compete with the uh, the body painters. They're, they're touching all their stuff, getting paint everywhere. 
<laughs> Amazing. It's a sight to see. Yeah, Faye, um, you can subscribe to this channel for free if you have Amazon Prime. Um, so to be clear, subscribing, what that does, it's like a fee uh, that comes to me every month. So it literally financially supports me as an artist who's doing this for free for everybody every week, multiple times a week. Um, so it's really great. Um, and yes, if you have Amazon Prime, that literally means that you're not paying anything extra. You're already paying for Prime yourself. You don't pay anything extra per month, but I get a specific fee every single month to support me financially. So it's really, really great for me. Um, and yeah, Wookie just uh, gave you a little blurb there. Thank you, Wookie, for doing that. So if you need to learn any more info, it should be all in there, but let us know if you have questions. Yeah, Grok, thank you, exactly. Paint splatters all on my monitors. Yeah, I have a tiny bit on my monitors now, too. <laughs> gets the people questioning stuff, yeah. <laughs> Lona gets the people going. <laughs> That's funny. Looks like we have a sample palette. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Faye, so if you click that link there that Groki just put there, and, uh, and also in that little blurb above you, gaming.amazon.com, um, That'll be your first step. There'll be a couple buttons there. It'll ask you to sign into your Amazon Prime account. It'll ask you to link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. And then you'll also have to click the button that says try Prime Gaming for free. So it's a couple steps there. Uh, once those are done though, you'll never have to do that again. Uh, and once they're done, you just come back to this page. You'll click the subscribe button and then there's a subscribe free button, which wasn't there before. Once you link the account, then that button kind of appears and you can click that to help support me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Fatima, same thing. Yep, just let us, feel free to do that later if you want, if you're in the middle of painting, no rush, no pressure. Um, we can always talk after too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very welcome. And again, thanks for everybody for answering too. You're all so kind and helpful. Yeah, it's a couple steps, honestly, but again, once you do those few steps, you never have to do those again. It'll just be a matter of coming back each month and resubscribing for free to help support me. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. <laughs> All right, assuming we've got all our snow on, we can go on to the sunshine because our sky should be nice and dry now. So we wanna put on the sunshine. We can place it right above our nice light spot and then we can do some little yellow in the river. So I'm gonna switch back to my medium round brush. <laughs> yeah, Wookie. And I'm going to uh, mix together a little bit of yellow with some white. That was just the color I wanted for my son. It's kind of like a very like pale buttery yellow. I didn't want it a bright yellow because it would blend a little too much into this or I guess be a little hidden. So adding that white kind of helps it pop off of all of those colors. Even though it's subtle, you can still see the full circle in my opinion. Yeah. So medium round brush, I've washed it off and I'm going to mix yellow and white together. Again, if you want a brighter sun, you can do just plain yellow, just you know, it might blend a little bit. You can do a nice orange sun, like a nice light orange to keep it uh, popping off of your existing colors. Customize as you like. I'll keep saying it. All right, so right above. So yeah, I would pick where your nice light spots are, kind of go above there, you know? So mine's gonna be right in there. <laughs> My little dot. So no real strategy to doing a circle I just kind of like to go round and round and round. <laughs> That's not a great start. <laughs> Keep in mind, painting from the side is a little harder than painting straight on. Anyway, in theory, that's what I'd be doing. Round and round and round. I find it gets rounder and rounder with each little rotation that you make. And then what you can do is kind of step back a little bit, see if anything looks funny and fix it up. So mine's looking funny on the top. I am going to move this over here so I can really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Everything's not from the side and elongated for me anymore. But here, you can watch me do it here. There we go. Round and round and round and round and round. Better. <laughs> fill it in whenever you want. Fill it in as you go, fill it in at the end, doesn't matter. Then again, you can kind of touch up the edges. So I like to grab a little extra paint on my brush. I just go nice and slow around. That way everything's just nice and clean around those sides. All right, my son ended up maybe a little bit bigger than my original, just as a heads up. 
<laughs> but you can do whatever you like. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, we do that step monthly. Yes, Faye. Um, so the hitting the free subscribe button, um, that does need to be done monthly if you want to keep supporting me monthly. I mean, my hope is that maybe you're just enjoying me so much that you find yourself here monthly. So it's an easy little thing to do. You just need to like remind yourself around the same time each month. So around the end of the month, I guess for you. Um, and then that way it continues to give me a monthly, um, monthly compensation, you could say. Uh, yeah, unfortunately there's no auto renewal. There is if you pay for it, um, but because it's free, like Twitch isn't going to do an auto renew for free, right? So they make you come back each time, but yeah. Tori, thank you for subscribing. There you go. So we've already got Tori subscribing with Amazon Prime. Thank you so, so much for doing those steps. My goodness, thank you very much. Mm-hmm, exactly. And the linking is once, yeah. So all the, uh, all the first steps you don't need to do every time. It's just the like final step of clicking subscribe free. That's it. Mm-hmm. Last a month, exactly. One free, oh yes, and I'll sh I should specify that. It's one free subscription per month. So maybe you don't use it on me. Maybe you find another artist. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm, exactly. Bezos money. How will I blend your blue? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you popped in a little earlier. I did a buffer zone. I call it the buffer zone. Um, <laughs> I put white in here. That's my trick. It kind of blends down to a white. The, the yellow blends into the white and they get super close, but they don't technically blend together. The buffer zone. Flan Clay, nice to see you. What's been up? I, um, I saw you online a couple days ago and it made me realize I hadn't seen a whole lot of streams recently. I, I hope everything's been good. Maybe you've just been working some stuff offline. Maybe I've been missing them. I don't know, but I feel like I haven't seen you on in a minute. Um, but hope you've been well. Really excited to see you. How's it been going? Feel free to update us. Flint Clay's another great streamer, guys. Uh, Flint Clay does um, pot throwing. Very fun to watch. Thanks for explaining. Yeah, of course. I'm glad to be able to support you. Thank you. I've watched your tutorials on Facebook. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Tori, that, <laughs> all of that means so, so much. Like even like regardless of subscribing, just the fact that you've moved over to Twitch because you enjoyed the tutorials on Facebook means the world to me. Thank you so much. And YouTube too. Yeah, amazing. I hope you're enjoying the evening so far. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for shouting at Flink Bay. Yes, 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 yes. So entertaining, so cool. It's just like calming. Just like watching painting is all different artistic mediums, which is so cool for that. So glad you're here, Flink Bay. Okay, I've got my sun, everybody. I'm just going to now add a little bit of this yellow to my river. Um, you can do maybe a little bit of a brighter yellow if you want to be a little more daring. I will be doing that, actually. Where's my yellow? There it is. So rather than the buttery yellow, I'm going to do just a brighter yellow. I like the bright contrast of the, uh, the purple to yellow, so that's what I'm going to do. So grabbing a little extra yellow on my brush and just very lightly so I'm not blending this because this is all dry, right? I'm just lightly sweeping it on top. For those who have joined me before, I wouldn't call it dry brushing. It's not like I want it transparent, but I do just want it just minimal amounts. So using my very, very like loose, loose grip here, allowing the brush to just lightly, lightly brush. See that? And it just kind of creates this little subtle glow. And I'm going anywhere in the white. You can technically go on top of the purple if you want. It won't mix in, but even layering it might kind of create a little bit of a muddy color. So just be aware of that. Ooh, more hypes. Oh my gosh, Jenner, thank you so much for subscribing. There it is, there it is. Yep, you got it. Thank you so, so much. Amazing. And again, benefits of subscribing, guys, it doesn't just uh, support me, it gives you ad-free viewing. So if anyone's um, here without uh, subscribing right now, you may have seen an ad at the start of the stream. There might be an ad thrown at you midstream. I'm honestly not sure if that is a thing or not. Um, sometimes it is, but yeah, subscribing gives you ad-free viewing, gives you access to all those cute little bun emotes, which I've custom made. You can see it just kind of like shows that you're supportive and part of the community. So just a few other little fun things that it comes with too. So there are benefits to you as well. So congrats. Thank you, Jenner. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dang, dude. Thanks to the Lurk Canine. So again, I'm adding a little more up here. There's a little bit of a light spot, just lightly brushing it on. Anyway, I'm happy to answer any questions about Prime. I feel weird talking about it all the time, but uh, happy to answer questions. Thank you for those who are asking and actively trying to support. I really appreciate you, like more than you know. I want to keep doing this as long as possible and stuff like that helps that happen. So thank you. 
Okay, give it a quick, quick minute, half minute for the yellow if you're still adding, and then we can get to some trees. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll do lots of layers for the trees. We start with a nice dark layer. I'll teach you how to actually put the trees on, all the nice shapes, and then it'll just be a matter of kind of going on top with different uh, colors. We do some blue, we do some white. Yeah, some nice happy little trees. Just nice classic, classic little Bob Ross type stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. You did, James? Man, congrats. Halfway there. Adding to a paint pour. I don't know if you're still thinking about that, but I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued of your ideas. Did you get all your varnishing done? Oh, Garoki, get out of here. <laughs> you just creeping up. You think it'll be today? I think it will be. At least an hour more, yeah. Oh, Charlene, you're actually already subscribed, just so you know. Um, see the little bun by your name? If you hover over it, two months subscriber. You've been subscribed for two months. It may not have been you. You may have been gifted a subscription. That's a whole thing people can gift you. Um, but yeah, does it cost us anything to do that? So if you have Amazon Prime, it does not. Uh, you can use your free Amazon Prime subscription on me. If you don't have Amazon Prime, there is a cost to it. There's different tiers, different costs. Um, I believe Canadian uh, 6 dollars is the lowest tier, which I get a portion of every month. And uh, yeah, but you're already subscribed. Sure, I think somebody gifted you if maybe you don't remember subscribing, but you are subscribed. So yeah, you can think about it in the future if you like, but for now, um, someone is supporting me on behalf of you, which is really sweet. You got all the buns right there. 85 for Kanak, I didn't realize you were that close. Just did it hopefully. Mm. So Faye, usually when that happens, when, when the connection works, um, you get a little blue crown by your name. So see by Phoenix's name, there's a blue crown. It means Prime Gaming. It means your account's linked. I'm not sure if maybe there's like an extra step. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes to show up too. So maybe you have, um, but for now I don't see it. So give it a little bit. No, again, no rush. If you're in the middle of painting, I don't want you to worry about it. We can always chat after, but uh, that's usually the indicator. If not an extra process, I can still cut. Oh, really? Interesting. Just two of them, though. Bizarre. Yeah, yeah, she's, I think she was gifted if maybe she didn't remember subscribing. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> okay, so to do some trees, everybody, I'll be using my medium round brush. I love this brush for trees. Some people like to use the large brush, some people like to use the tiny brush and kind of do lots of details, but my trees... Ugh, you can see. What, what did everyone call them? Gumball trees? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very blobby. You can see they're very thick. There's not a whole lot of detail in terms of branches or anything thin. It's really just using this medium round brush, kind of using the tip of it, going back and forth, tapping, lots of tapping, creating these triangular shapes, keeping it nice and thin and pointed at the top, and then slowly widen out as we go. So I'll show you step by step. Of course, we'll do lots of these trees. Trees over here just smaller because they're further away. And then I do some bushes. So it's pretty much the same technique, just different shapes on here. All right. So medium round brush, you can get that ready by washing it off. Oops. Yeah, Faye, I think that means maybe there's another step. So um, you may have linked your Twitch and um, Amazon Prime accounts. You might need to go back to that gaming.amazon.com page. And if it still says try Prime Gaming for free, you need to click that one too. That's kind of like the extra step there. Try Prime Gaming for free. You wanna like say yes and sign up for that. And then it goes. All right, so the color I'm mixing everybody with my medium round brush is a nice kind of bluish black color. I want it super, super dark. I didn't want it pure black, but still in the blue tones. So I'm mixing blue with black paint. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. There is my black, there it is. Oh, true. Good point, Cindy and Faye, and Faye and anyone else. If anything's not working, I'm not sure if you're on a phone, on an iPad, tablet. Unfortunately, you can only do it on a desktop. <laughs> um, it won't give you the option to subscribe for free on the phone, on a tablet. So if you need to take time to uh, Go to a computer another time. Again, don't worry about it now. <laughs> Just know that that might be an issue as well. Thank you. Good point, Cindy. So yeah, I'm essentially making a nice navy blue. Blue and black. Nice dark color. So again, medium round brush. I'm starting with just a large vertical line. You don't really need to worry about making, th making it thin or super straight because we're just going to cover it up anyway. Look, it's kind of tilted. That's all right. 
Tori, thank you for the follow. I saw that too. Yep, true. Phoenix says you might need to refresh. That's a thing as well. <laughs> Hipster is ever and ever not streaming. The answer is no. <laughs> no, I'm trying to take some breaks for real though, for real. Fridays are just my uh, double stream days. So yeah, you, you caught me twice. <laughs> Welcome in, Hipster. Yep, yep. It's actually, think, I, I did take a break, I swear. <laughs> I was offline for a bit. Okay, medium round brush. I'm using the tip of the brush. I'll catch up and chat in a second. I got to do a few steps here. Um, I'm going to start at the top. I like to start at the top just so I can really be nice and delicate, kind of nice and careful where it's just the least amount filled in. And then I'll start to get a little crazier, a little messier as I move down. So tip of the brush. I'm just going to start with a nice little quick little vertical stroke like that. It's just kind of a little oval or a little blob. Then I'll go down a little further and do like two of those, maybe angled. They're kind of going up angled. Come down a little more, maybe like a couple, three or four. And see how I'm just slowly widening them out. I'm keeping them still nice and tight to the trunk, but widening it just a little bit. Stroke, stroke, stroke. So as I'm stroking, if you need to see, I'm kind of using kind of the side of the brush. I'm using the, the top and the side. So I get all these little kind of ovals and blobs. Tap, 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 stroke, 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 stroke. I'm starting to really fill in the middle, keeping this kind of widening out on the side. You can see the triangle starting to come through. but still quite messy, you know? It's, uh, again, you're not seeing many details here. You're not seeing branches. You're kind of just adding all these clumps of paint. Eye stroking. And again, I keep saying to keep it really thin at the top because I find, a sp even when I'm doing it, I guess I get so excited about filling up the tree. And then I start with a big wide top and it looks all top heavy and funny. So just, just take a breath and be like, okay, just a little bit at the start, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then you can go crazy at the end. Just like, choo, 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 choo. look at all that. Again, sounds help. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like second stream. Don't worry. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. You can reset from any device. Cool. I thought uh, I thought the free thing was like never available on phone. I was like, of course it's not. <laughs> My theory is when I'm on break, I'm just streaming on another channel. You might not be wrong. Imagine I have a whole double life. I'm like, I'm off guys, bye. I'm just streaming on another channel the whole time. <laughs> So at the bottom, everyone, you can see I really started to fill it up. There's no gaps in here. It's really just the outsides you want to really see some gaps and some uh, some differences in versus the insides just all filled up. I brought it almost down to, just to the shoreline right by the river. I left a little bit of a gap, but otherwise that is one tree. I'll do another one for you. I'll talk you through a second one. It's the same process, just I'll do a different size. I like to make them all a little taller or a little shorter um, than each other just to get some variety. But in case you missed anything or didn't really understand, I'll do it again. So I'm doing a nice trunk. And I'm going nice and tight because I like to have them all nice and tight together, especially in this area. Tip of the brush. I'll even show you a different angle. So I, I like to angle the brush like this. I'm not going straight at it, not going straight up and down. I'm going angled. And then that way, when I touch the tip, I kind of give some pressure, give a stroke, comes off in a little oval. That's one, two, three, and just kind of moving, see how I'm moving the handle everywhere? So I'm getting different directions of all those strokes. They're not all going out. They're not all going up. They're all just tilting around wherever they want to go. Make your noises if that helps you. And you can get a little quicker at it. The more comfortable you get, you can get a little quicker, but keep taking your time. If this is your first time doing trees, second, third, fourth, 50th, just take your time. It takes a long time to get comfortable with it to be able to do it a little bit quicker. So don't rush yourself, just have fun with it. There you go, there's another. I'm gonna catch up on some comments. It's true, James, I really was though. <laughs> Sounds good, Faye, I really appreciate you trying. Hipster. <laughs> yes, my dreams are very realistic. It's always the same. 
What if we are the dream? Uh oh. <laughs> Don't get all Christopher Nolan. Oh no. <laughs> is little blob ext extremely technical painting term? It is. They always are. Slap in the paint. Very technical term. All the things I learned in my non visual arts university. Mm hmm. We are the glitch. <laughs> <laughs> Spirals. You're spiraling on a Friday hipster. I'm so sorry, but you kind of did this to yourself. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Bob Ross paint. Yeah, yeah, Krithi. I draw a lot of inspiration, especially for trees from Bob Ross. He is the tree king. Um, I wouldn't call these his classics. He's usually kind of tapping the brush back and forth for his classic Bob Ross trees, but definitely inspo, and I definitely learned everything from him when it comes to trees. How long are the tutorials usually and are they on your channel right away? Uh, yeah, so it might actually be available now. Again, a friend popped in the stream earlier and suggested that it might be available right now, actually. So Fatima, if you um, click the videos tab, I think you can click the stream and go back to the start. If not though, if that's not a thing, um, right after I end the stream, then it will be available for you in that same tab in the videos tab. Uh, in terms of how long the tutorials are, I try and keep them about two hours. So we're at 9.24. I should be, I think I'm on pace to end by 10. So I started at 8. I'll end around 10. Uh, but yeah, James, thank you. 1.5 to 2.5. It ranges a little bit. Depends how chatty we get. Um, but I try and keep it around too. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Becky, I'll do it again. One second. Let's do her again. All right. So I'm going to keep bringing these down. I just like the little casual tall to short type gig. Um, so here we go. You said top specifically, right? Tree branches, leaves. Yes. So I wouldn't even think of them as branches. Chronically, thanks for the follow. Um, I just think of them more as leaves. If that helps you at all, I just think of them as leaves. So holding the brush again at an angle like this. I'm going to do one. I usually start with a straight up and down one, just so it's nice and thin and tall, you know? Just one straight up and down, intersecting with that trunk. I usually do like two after that, kind of in a V shape. So again, it's keeping nice and tight. When you're doing them angled up, up, they're nice and tight to the trunk. So I keep them all kind of angled a little more up at the start, just so they are very thin and tight. Maybe I'll do a couple more. I maybe like bring them a little further out, but they're still kind of angled up and down. And then as you get further down, you can start to do some more like straight out ones, up and down, angled just kind of all intersecting very messily. This guy's getting wider quicker, which I don't like. So I'm gonna tell you how to fix that if that happened to you too, because that's a common thing. I, I said it, I do it all the time still. I've done hundreds, probably thousands of trees. <laughs> I'm still doing this. See how it got really wide. It just looks kind of top heavy. So I'm gonna finish this and then I'll show you how to fix that. But hope that helped Becky. Let me know if you need more, more tips. I can bring it closer if that was an issue. I'm just messily putting this on so I can show you the top again. And you can be messy at the bottom because it all gets covered up, right? It's really just the outsides you're looking at. So if anybody, if anyone had an issue like me, they just got so excited about doing the top that it just went poof, kind of exploded a little bit quickly. An easy way to fix it is to just make it a little taller. You will have to make it taller, but it saves the tree in my opinion. Make it taller, you know, have all this extra space. Keep it just open up here. Again, just be a little more careful this time. Do smaller strokes, kind of coming out at angles. And now the whole thing looks more elongated. Just kind of match it up, melt, help it blend into what you have. And you've now saved the shape. Ta-da! Looks a little more thinner. <laughs> Look at that, I just punched it out more again though. But yeah, you just gotta keep working with it. You can make it taller again if you need to, but I think I kind of slimmed it down a bit. But yeah, good, thanks. Excellent, glad, Becky. Double life as a PC building streamer <laughs> at one hand painting stream. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna try painting today. I'll never do it again. <laughs> back, <laughs> yeah, back to uh, building PCs after. That's too good. It's all a sham. It's all a sham, all of it. <laughs> I know how to do it all, hipster. <laughs> okay, so it is available now. We'll upload. Oh, just to YouTube, but yeah. Thank you, James. Appreciate you. I feel like a stuffed turkey. Tur dark. <laughs> That's the best. Again, I'm so jealous. I'm living vicariously through all of you who had Thanksgiving this week. So, so jealous. So I'm just continuing to add. At this point, go at your own pace. If you want to whip through a few trees, go quickly. I'm just going to continue going at my pace here, trying to keep, you know, a relatively slower pace for those who are following along. But if you want to just add a few and then uh, take a break yourself, that's fine as well. 
So I'm just adding one more here. And again, do what works for you. You don't need to follow the exact number of trees I did. Technically in my original, I see I fit five on this little piece. I'm only gonna put four there. I'm not gonna force five on there. It's just whatever you're thinking. Maybe it's a little more gapped than mine is. That's okay too. No worries, James. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. My chat is doing the weird thing again. <laughs> Peepo juice. Sun just walked in and heard your art school comment, was amazed. Oh, she didn't go to art school, but she's so good. Kyla Lily. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's true though. I do, I should mention that more because I feel like a lot of people assume I did and a lot of people assume you have to in order to become an artist or do art. You don't, I never did. I'm a sham. <laughs> I don't have any degrees in art. Um, the most educated, the, yeah, the education I had for art was high school level. I did some in elementary school. I chose to take electives in art. So I learned a little bit here and there, but even those, like I wasn't painting all the time. I was learning about different mediums and I just like all art in general. So that was fun for me. Um, but really I say it's just all about practice and uh, practicing on your own, if that's what it is. It doesn't need to be practiced in school. It doesn't need to be practiced during, um, you know, a fancy class of any kind. There's so many resources online these days, including my free tutorials, like right now, um, to teach people. And uh, that's really all you need is lots of practice, maybe a little bit of help here and there. Um, everyone learns differently. I like to learn by watching, and that's why I watched Bob Ross for years as a child, and then eventually picked up a paintbrush and said, maybe I can do it too. Um, but in the end, it was just lots of practice. I've been painting for a long, long time, experimenting, learning ways to do things. Cause that's important too, kind of learning your own ways, getting comfortable in your own ways, right? Not every way is going to work for every person. But yeah, Bob is a great start. <laughs> Just watching him and getting inspired even is a great thing to do. But yep, yeah, high school only. Went to business school, so the complete opposite. <laughs> complete opposite. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're finding yeah, I'm glad you're finding it relaxing. That's another reason why I watched Bob. It wasn't just to learn. I think I accidentally learned, but he's just a relaxing guy. He says some fantastic things about art and life and uh, has a lovely, lovely voice. So lots of benefits to watching him. So again, you can see I added a couple more trees. Again, in my original, I fit four or five on there. I'm only fitting three today. That's okay. But yeah, lots, a little smaller just because they're further away. As things get further, they get smaller. So keep that in mind. Oh, I think he went to the uh, to shower, he said. Um, let me try and show you real quick, okay? I'm gonna test this myself because I'm curious. I can do this very quickly. This will be a quick little change, everybody. Ooh, one second, there we go. Okay, here I am, I'm watching myself. <laughs> it's me, look at me, this is Inception, here's all you. Um, I'm gonna click my name, go to videos, click this one. And it, oh, it does. See, it starts from the start. So you can start from my beginning. Let's whip ahead a little bit. Here's me talking at the start. I'll start about half an hour in. And then you can uh, start painting with me. There you go. So quick little, quick little thing for everybody. <laughs> There's all you guys in the chat from earlier. <laughs> cool. There you go. Hope that helps. Sounds good, hipster. Really nice to see you. I always love when you pop in. Uh, yeah, you have a great night as well. We're watching Monty Python tomorrow if you're interested, by the way. Grandma, welcome in. Hello, fellow Bonds. Gonna paint this tomorrow. Sounds good. Baby sat today, fell asleep, woke up. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We can all relate. This Friday's been uh, tiresome for most. I've heard lots of people taking naps today, including me, so totally get it. <laughs> Feel free to hang out. Um, but yeah, thanks for popping in if you need to go, I understand, but uh, yeah. Sounds like it's a good tired babysitting. Hope it was a good time. Yep, Bob Ross, he's amazing. Unbeatable. All right, so I'm gonna go on to the bushes now, everybody. So it is a very similar technique, just kind of like different shapes. Um, so instead of worrying about triangles and making things nice and thin to thick at the top, we're just kind of like bunching up all of our strokes now. Um, so on mine, I'm gonna put a nice bush kind of covering up this whole left-hand corner. And then I'm gonna do a nice kind of uh, thin to thick bush just falling kind of on the shoreline here. So let's do this one first and then I'll carry on up. So same color, I'm still using that blue-black combo, a nice navy blue. And my goal is to just kind of cover up this bottom left corner. 
So I'm just using my brush the exact same way. What I like to do, I know you can't really see this, you will in a second. I just use it the same way as in I'm just doing these small little strokes. Makes it look like kind of bunches of leaves or, you know, collections of uh, branch foliage is coming out. I don't know what else to say. You know, just kind of following along the edge that you want to create here. So I'm creating this kind of rounded edge here. Maybe it like has a little tip at the top or something. Kind of comes in and out, whatever you want. It's just a bush. It can be whatever shape you want. It's really just the outside you need to do that for because the inside is going to be completely covered. So you can just fill in as much as you want. You can use some thick brush strokes just very quickly. I still kind of do smaller brush strokes just to keep some texture in there. We love our texture here. But keep in mind with the other layers we're going to add, we're going to add like a light blue layer. We'll add a white layer. Um, you will add some texture using those layers as well. So not as necessary to keep the texture going, but still I do anyway. There you go. We've had that filled up area now. Cool. Bob quote, that's a crooked tree. We'll send him to Washington. Good, Bob. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Wookie. Bob, Bob, Bob. Oh, you're playing some Simmy Sims. Oh, Todd. What are you up to on Simmy Sims? If you're busy, don't worry about it. Three streams in Sims. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's busy. <laughs> Live stream go. Sounds good. Fatima's yeah. Yeah. Uh again, if you have any other questions, feel free to pop back on. I'll be on for the next half hour to hour. Usually I hang out even after I'm done painting. So if you have any questions throughout, pop right back here and then you can go right back to watching me not live. Thanks for popping in. I really appreciate it. One of the streams of chaos. Which one, Ali? Or which one, uh, Todd, excuse me? I'm curious for the chaotic stream. Okay, using the same technique, I'm just going to make a different shape of bush. This one's going to start a little thinner here. It's kind of like disappearing behind this other one. And then it gets wider as it goes further up to the right. Oh, AOC's on again. I forgot. There's a lot happening tonight, actually. Big, big stuff. Chaos, huh? NDP leader from Canada. Uh, he's there too, I think, right? That's the whole thing. I think he started at this time. So same thing, everybody. I'm using the um, tip of the brush here. Jagmeet Singh, right? Is that right? I should know this. I should know this. Anyway, using the tip of the brush, kind of outlining the top of the bush. That's really the only area we need to worry about in terms of these brush strokes showing. And if I didn't say before, too, like I'm kind of separating some of them, clumping some more together, just going in and out a little bit. And that way you see some gaps, it looks a little looser in some parts, some parts look a little more filled in. I think so, yeah, I think so. That's probably huge. Yeah, J there we go. Jamie, I was right. <laughs> oh my god. It's always so embarrassing when I forget names and facts like that. It's like, my god. I need to know that stuff. I do. Sometimes I just second guess. Anyway, I think he's the one who initiated this one actually, CJ, which is pretty cool. I saw the Twitter go down. He tagged AOC and was like, wanna play? She's like, yeah. Northern I see, yeah, I've never heard of Northern Lion before, but I saw them tagged in the Twitter uh, post as well. The tweet. I feel so old. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I see. So to get the shape of the thin to thick, you can see I'm leaving it a little bit thinner here. I'm not going to stack on too many more brush strokes, but I'm going to bring this edge down. So I'm eventually going to kind of bring it over here. So once again, just doing my little brush strokes to add some texture to the bottom. How many uh, viewers do they have right now? Just out of curiosity. Are they breaking their last record? I'm curious if anyone knows. So that was a huge stream last time. So again, we have thin and then to wide as we go. Kind of goes up the river. And then fill in just very messily. Again, you can see nice and thick. Lots of little brush strokes filling it in. So yeah, it's looking very dark right now. So don't worry about that because the whole idea is we're about to go back to the start and add on some nice light highlights right on top of everything. Like 200K or something. 103. Oh, not as big as last time. Oh, not as big as last time. I think they're over 200 last time. 
Still good though. Cool, cool. That's fun. So again, you can be a little looser at the bottom if you like seeing all those little uh, pieces coming out, kind of little branches spraying at the bottom as well. And again, customize as you like. It does not need to be this exact shape. You could have ended it earlier. You could have made it the whole same width all the way. Doesn't matter. If you really like the snow, leave more snow. If you want to cover it up, cover it up. I got my shape of thin to thick by eating chocolate and good food. Everybody feed your tree and bush chocolate. You'll get thin to thick. <laughs> Cindy, you're so funny. Yes, you can. Here's a nice comparison. Thanks for asking, Lakeside. Let me just adjust there. There you go. Pretty similar. Maybe the bottom. See, my bottom's a little more straight. This one's a little more angled. So to fix that, you could bring this bottom down a little bit to angle it more. But in general, it goes from thin to thick. Bush on the side. And again, you can see less trees. I don't know what it is. I fit more trees here. I just didn't feel like fitting more in there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they've been here. They're actually painting along today. Whole fam, all three. Plus dog is four. Dog is painting too. Just kidding. Patty paints. <laughs> His poor little paws. He wouldn't be able to paint. Cool. So as I have this here, I'll talk a little bit about the next steps. Because um, they're probably going to confuse some people. And it's just the way I did it. <laughs> I technically did white first as my next step. So I did the uh, the dark bluish purple. Or bluish, uh, bluish uh, black, excuse me, navy blue. I added the white next. And then I put blue on top. I don't know why I did that. I think I should have done blue and then white. White should go on top. It's the snow. It's the highlight. But I'm just letting you know. It is the way I did it. I did white and then blue. So I will stick to it just to keep it as consistent as possible. If it makes more sense to you to do blue first and then white, go right ahead. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is. I'm completely honest about how I paint. And sometimes it's just like I make these last minute decisions and the blue was a last minute decision. So why? It doesn't make sense, but that's the way it worked. <laughs> so just letting you know. Anyway, hopefully that was good. Lakeside, dog is painting with poop. Oh, gross. <laughs> Give me their journal thing. Yeah. <laughs> Poop Sember, you're right. That's gross. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's an old boy. He's an old boy. <laughs> okay. So I've got all my trees down. Mine are nice and dry. If yours are at all like a little bit blobby, a little bit sticky, you might want to give it just a couple extra minutes. Otherwise, you can avoid those blobs. So just kind of look for any shiny spots on your trees. So you can see actually right here, there's a big old blob waiting to just disrupt my white. Just avoid it or just cake on the white. That'll work as well. But uh, just know if you want a nice pure white kind of snow on top, you won't want to be mixing around as this is still wet. Because we spend so much time on the other trees, I suspect everyone has a nice dry surface here. So that and uh, that combined with the fact that you would use lots of white paint, you should be fine. Dog saw the bullet journal earlier. I know. <laughs> he just wanted to join in on Poop Sember. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> He's an old boy, okay? All right, plain white paint. I've washed off my brush, by the way. Important because we're going into white paint. I washed off my medium round brush. Here we go. And I'm just going to do the exact same strategy, just less. So I'm using the tip of the brush, using it the same angle, kind of flipping, angled, angled, up and down, left and right, whatever. I'm just adding much less. I don't want to recover up everything that I've done. I want this kind of bluish black to show through so it looks like some nice shading underneath all the snow. So just spacing out my strokes a little more and going a little slower so that I'm a little more careful. But exact same idea. You're doing all these little, little ovals, little brush strokes, kind of all combining. So you can see this is mixing a tiny bit, just the tiniest bit with my bluish black. I'm not worried about that. If it's bothersome to you, just give it a couple extra minutes or bring out your hair dryer or something and give it a quick right on top. But otherwise I think it's fine. You can see mine worked out totally fine. And I'm gonna be putting some light blue as the last step anyway. So I'm not too worried if my white combines a little bit with my first color. 
here we go again. Same idea. Gumdrop trees. And they will look a little combined, just like they did before we added the white. They kind of like combine down here. I don't really um, worry about making them look separate. I kind of like the idea of them being so full that they all just kind of merge together. So if you're seeing that too, totally fine. That's what I see as well. If you get to a point where you think maybe you added a little too much white, maybe you just went a little excited with the white, a little heavy with it, you can always, always go back and re-add some of that bluish, uh, bluish black kind of on top. Again, the order doesn't really make sense, but it'll give you a pretty similar look. So don't hesitate if you think they look a little too white, a little too snowy, you could always go back. I missed it, CJ. It's cool though, dog peeing with poop. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't place that one, actually. <laughs> Reveal yourself. Who wrote the poop comment? Trees are pretty even. With snow. Yeah, Faye, exactly. Like, you don't even have to add snow for sure. I really love the snow. I love just the whole snowy scene. So I just clobber it with snow. Like, even in real life, I love the snowy scenes and everything just dumped on with snow. So that's what I uh, go for. <laughs> But yeah, if you like them a little more plain, definitely, I think they'd be lovely. My only thing is that I felt the painting looked a little dark with it all, but you could always go in with like just a lighter version of the color if you don't want the snow on top, just to stroke it on top, add a little bit of a, a highlight on top that would lighten it up enough without adding snow. But yeah, totally good call. I know you do, Krithi, I know. I just haven't like had, and you know, we're about to come up with uh, holiday paintings and stuff, so it might be a, a minute before we do it, but I just didn't, haven't had a good, like, vision for it, you know? Not to say I get visions. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous always saying that. I get a vision. Um, but yeah, I haven't, like, come up with a good, like, concept, layout, design. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> I know, Krithi. I know. Please, please, please. I need to look up inspo for it. That's my problem. What's up with Candyland and you? Like, you really like the board game? Like, what's up? He has, like, the, the mystical kind of, like, fantasy aspect. I want to know what it is. Because it's such a specific request, you know? Childhood memories. Beautiful both ways. Thanks, Faye. Yeah. It's my favorite part, Faye, is uh, looking at how people customize. So I'm sure we might see some people who didn't add snow and they just kept it nice and dark. Or maybe they added some blue tones instead. And they're all going to look great. They always do. I know people are always nervous about doing their own thing. But I always encourage it because it creates some magical stuff. I like candy and all the magic. Okay, okay. So kind of just like fantasy element and candy. Makes sense, makes sense. Interesting. Yeah, I know we've been requesting that for a while. So again, even as we get into the, like, into the core of this bush, I'm still leaving some gaps here so it's not totally filled up. Yeah, I'll keep thinking about it. I'll keep thinking about it. But yeah, honestly, Krithi, in the next like month or so, I'm probably only going to be doing very holiday themed winter paintings just because that's kind of like limited season. And then maybe in the new year or something, I'll start to think of some stuff. It, it does sound like a fun idea. Just different, very different too. I always like different things that I don't see a lot of. And that's the other thing, Krithi. Yeah, you're saying, can we add a peppermint forest? Like, you could always take a base of one of my paintings, change it up however you want. Like, instead of my trees, do some peppermint forest trees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Again, like, January, February, I'm down to start experimenting with cool things like that. Keep that in mind <laughs> for winter. A new winter. <laughs> Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. I don't want to make any promises, but uh, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Don't worry. It's in my brain swirling around. Maybe one day I'll wake up and be like, whoa, I've got it. And I'll, uh, I'll whip it out, but who knows? It's like Mentos. King Philip, welcome in. My little white droplets? Or are you talking Candyland? 
And then with this bush, everybody, I do leave a little bit more of the darkness showing. So instead of bringing the white all the way down, I like to leave just a little bit of extra gaps down here to make it look kind of like shading. Um, so the snow is not going to go all the way underneath the bush. So it leaves a little bit of a gap under uh, at the bottom. So lots more white up top and then it kind of disperses a little bit more as it comes down. Mentos winter. Oh, okay. Like winter fresh. <laughs> life is better with Mentos freshness. Life is better with Mentos fresh and full of life. I don't know the tune. I don't know the tune. All right, there's our white added. So once again, I'll give a minute or two. It looks like we're, oh yeah, we're like 12 minutes to 10. So that's perfect. We'll be ending right on time. Is that the Mentos theme song? Why is there, I feel like there's a different one. Tattooers, welcome in Barb, how's it going? We're almost done our toot. Tattooers. <laughs> Barb, Barb. All the greetings, purple gang's coming in. <laughs> a purple crew came, we must greet her. <laughs> Mentos droplets, I really like their style. Oh, thank you King Philip. yeah. People were calling these gumdrop trees earlier, so. <laughs> I feel like you're kind of on that same wavelength with the Mentos for sure. <laughs> Brad! <laughs> Thanks for shining at Barb. Streaming food and drink. I love it. Barb after dark. <laughs> Baking food and drink category. Too fun. It's too fun. Yeah, how was your afternoon, Barb? You said you went for a drive. Do you want to share where you went? I'm curious. Did you shoot a potato gun? So again, just giving an extra minute in case anyone's adding the white. There was lots of white to add, so just want to make sure no one's feeling rushed. And again, even though it doesn't make sense, I'm doing the order of blue last. I know it doesn't really make sense. If you'd like to go on with white later on, you're welcome to. I'm just pointing out how it doesn't make sense. <laughs> It's just the way I painted it when I painted it. Sometimes on Twitch, guys, like I'm... So for those who don't know, for those at the tutorial, um, during the week I stream on Twitch a lot. Um, I'm doing personal art, um, but sometimes I'm making tutorial paintings live on Twitch. So I'm not teaching them, but I'm designing them. So I kind of like come in with an idea and I talk to the chat about it and I say, what do you think of this? And we're all talking as I do it. Um, and I make changes, right? <laughs> so sometimes I do things out of order. What I would do if I were to start over again is I would do things a certain way. But um, yeah, so just in case anyone's interested, you can actually see me create these. Kind of in like see my process of designing it. That might be just interesting to some of you to see. And then I reteach them. So the process is interesting. I think it's fun that uh, the chat contributes as well. They have saved so many paintings of mine. I can't even tell you. Probably every single painting I could point out one thing that they like suggested or told me to change and it just made it that much better. So chat really designs my paintings. <laughs> Came to my parents' house. Oh, okay. Help my mom. Oh, Christmas. Oh, because you're all done yours. You're like, who else can I do? <laughs> oh, oops, my severin. That's okay. You got your little diamond instead. Does Switch have settings for mobile users and buffering drive me mad? Um, I think there's a I think there should be the gear icon for you, King Philip, and I think you can change 99. I think you can change the quality of the stream. I'm honestly not sure because I don't use mobile a whole lot. But uh, you might be able to play around with that. So Aaron, we are calling your tutorial series Thalo, Painting Evolved. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. <laughs> it's almost always Thalo Blue. So close. I kept that redemption on for a custom acrylic if you want. Just you and a couple others who could be using that right now. My goodness. Yo, Burb, are you around tomorrow? Oh, wait, I might not have a canvas. Never mind, don't don't answer me. <laughs> okay, I'm on to my last steps here. So I have two steps left. I want to add some blue to the trees, and then I have one little detail that I add. For those who didn't see, I actually have some little bunny prints. I'll show you those uh, right before we get to them. Uh, so like second last step, and then one more after that. So what I'm doing is I'm using the thin, uh, not thin, excuse me, medium round brush. I've mixed together blue and white, so I'm making some sort of like a medium blue color, just like an icy blue, kind of like the darkest shades that you're seeing in your snow almost, anything in there. 
And I just like to add a little bit, even less than the white, even less than the white right on top of our tree. It just gives yet another color, makes it a little icier, a little bit more shading without doing the total like dark, dark color. And I kind of like to stick this a little more in the core of the tree rather than the outsides. Just something about keeping the outsides a little bit more white and highlighted um, was I thought a good, good look. So I just kind of stuck them more in the core. Like not to say they're all in a straight line, of course, but just a little more in the middle. But same idea, using the tip, doing some little brush strokes. Yeah, you can see it just kind of brightens them in a different way, you know? Doesn't make them lighter. Just gives it yet another little, uh, little layer. Mm-hmm. Yes, she is. <laughs> She's here all the time. She deserves it. Over halfway for Phoenix for your Diva Goose. Excellent. She did chicken. Yes, chicken noodle greenery. Maligri, you're very welcome. If you're all done, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll do a quick little closing announcement thing in a couple minutes when I've got the last few steps here, but you're welcome if you need to go or you're all set. Thank you so much for coming. Back, no worries, Dragon. Ben, did you leave me any commission? Ooh, a commission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm almost done actually, Dragon. That's cool. I thought you were doing your, uh, your acrylic painting, but that's cool. You're doing a digital commission. Ooh, ooh, you got lots on the run. Okay, so the cores of the trees, that's how I described the blue. And again, it's not a hard rule. You can see maybe I hit the edges here and there, but just a little more in the centers. And then for the bushes, same idea. I don't want to hit the very outsides. I kind of like keeping the outsides a little more white and bright. So instead I kind of go more, oops, into the middle. I'm just going to darken this a little bit. There we go. A little more near the middle. Same thing though, spacing them out, doing my small little brush strokes all different ways, up and down, side to side, diagonal. Just kind of filling up little bits. There we go. Cool. And again, you can see it makes it look light to medium to dark type stuff. It was, but commission came first. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. It's been lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, you too, you too. It's Mioma. Thanks so much for coming. I'm glad you uh, stuck around. Had a good evening. Again, any questions you can let me know. Contact me here, contact me Facebook, Discord, any of those lovely spots. I try and keep track of them all. And then same thing for this bush, everybody. I'm not going at the very top. I'm going more in the middle, just kind of filling up little bits. And then same thing, I'm not going at the very bottom, because like I said before, I want to keep the bottom a little darker just for some shading. Mish, Night All Aaron's I love it. Yep. I look forward to it. Thank you, Mish. I'm so glad you had some time to paint tonight. Hope you had a fantastic time. There we go. So kind of like white to blue to the dark blue. All right, give it a quick minute. And then we just have one teeny tiny step left. We're gonna end it like right on time, I think, right on time. I'll show you the uh, comparison just so you can do a quick comparison to uh, pretty much all the steps so far. Dude, what? That's a big slip. That's a big slip. That's a big hand slip. Thank you. <laughs> Paying it forward from the anonymous gifter. Get out of here. <laughs> Paying it forward with 10? Are you good, sir? Pimidge, you just got gifted a sub. Krithikas, you just got gifted a sub. Sparrow was here earlier. Becky is here currently. You just got gifted a sub, Becky. Faye just got gifted a sub. Faye was here. Eclipse as well. Creatively, Emma, lovely, she's always here. <laughs> Jesus. Mish, you just got gifted the sub if you are still here. Slade, haven't seen Slade in a little bit, but maybe they'll come in. Wood, thank you so much. <laughs> Not necessary. Your hand slipped hard though. <laughs> Whoops. You've already got the painting. Like, <laughs> you can't even use that excuse anymore either. Sparrow's here, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> 
Krithi, that's you. Lots of people here have it. Accidentally supported community artist dog. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying your bun that much too. It's like the least I could do. <laughs> yeah, all the dances. You're welcome. Yep, Miss, you got a nice fresh bun there. You're a subscriber. When you come back, you can use some bun emotes. You get ad-free viewing, all that beautiful stuff that goes for everybody. Thank you. I'm all sweaty now. <laughs> Silly. Silly. Sounds good, Sparrow. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Use those as much as you can. <laughs> as much as you can. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Giving you that one emote is the least I could do. <laughs> and you got that for a bit, so like, <laughs> enough, enough. Thank you, though. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Ten! <laughs> Stop, sit down, relax. Goodness me. <laughs> you want me to say it again? <laughs> Just being honest. You're welcome, Charlene. I'm glad you had a good time. Now I have to do my little, <laughs> do my little rabbit prints with sweaty hands. I'm taking the tiny brush, everybody. Thank you again, Wood. I appreciate you so much. White and blue mixed together. We're doing uh, the same color as we did just now, just with a teeny tiny brush now. You're welcome, Gigi. I'm glad you had a good time. You're welcome, Charlene, as always. Let's have a look here. These little guys, if you want to do any other footprints, I tried to do little bunny prints, uh, but if you want to do something else, you're welcome to do that. Or leave it blank, whatever you like. So my bunny prints, what I did is I did kind of like little ovals followed by just little dots. As if he has his little back feet and his little front feet and he's hopping, hopping, hopping. If you see any little ghost prints there, you kind of see in between. That's because I had them a little close together and then I decided to uh, spread them apart a bit. So I used some white to cover it up. So just know that if you ever make a mistake of adding them too close together, just use some white and blue, cover it up, change it up, whatever you like. Tiny brush, blue, white color. And again, just kind of like ovals and dots. So here I go, I'm going to start down here. I kind of circled up and down. Oval, oval, dot, dot. Kind of like little upside down exclamation points, if you will. I leave a big gap because this money is hopping very, very far. Oval, oval, dot, dot. And by oval, I don't even mean that I'm making an oval. I'm quite literally just like stroking my brush to make these little ovals or dashes. You can call them dashes. Gran, you're very, very welcome. Hope you had a great time. Again, I have some little closing announcements in just a minute or two. So if anyone's curious about like next tutorial, posting photos, anything I'm doing in the next little bit, um, I will talk to you about that in just a minute or two. There we go. Oh, so again, looking from the side, things get a little elongated, kind of funny, but I'd be trying. There we go. So my bunny just kind of hopped along. I was like, oopsie, I've reached the river and he went the other way. Love, love. Oh, Charlene. I'll be on Namora, Charlene, if you're interested. I'll be on a couple more times next week, but again, I might be taking a little more time next week. Oh, color Pamich, Pamich that was the same color. So that was like the blue-white mixture, just like a nice icy blue. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it a little bit darker, like maybe your snow is a little bit darker with all of the, uh, the blue kind of blended in, just make it a little darker with some more blue. I'll give like half minute to minute. Actually, no, I won't. I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. That's actually the bonus step in the last step. So I'm gonna do that right now, very quickly. Let's sign it in a little white, white patch here. There we go. Very, very hidden. Very, very hidden. There it is. Mies, thank you so much. I'll definitely put bunny prints in two bunnies. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Walking around your lounge as you speak. Oh, that is precious. I hope they don't hop in the paint. My painting's a mess, but that's okay. I'm half asleep. It's 2 p.m. in Australia. Very, very hot. Yeah, take your time, Mies, and just know that you're welcome to contact me with like a photo of your painting. If you have any questions, feel free. Anytime. You can send a photo and be like, something's not working or what's wrong here. I can definitely give you some tips. So you're welcome, Faye. I'm glad you liked it. 
I'll see you next week for sure. Excellent, Charlene, love it. I heard welcome in. Hey, thanks, Dragon. Okay, so yeah, while I still have everybody here, just in case you're wondering about like what to do now. So again, sign your painting. That's always the last little bonus step. I always recommend that to really like solidify that you're done the painting. So make sure you do that. Um, otherwise, I'll just say a very quick thank you for coming. As always, again, you all don't know how much this means to me and helps me <laughs> with continuing to do this. The fact that you're tuning in live, like YouTube is fantastic. I love that a lot of you watch on YouTube, but tuning in live really helps me on Twitch. So thank you so much. Even if you're not painting along, just like watching, thank you. It does so much for me growth wise, okay? Um, if you would like to post any photos of your paintings that you've done, that's one of my favorite parts at the end is seeing everyone's beautiful paintings. <laughs> Ground beef, <laughs> thank you for the follow mispronouncing that for a reason um couple places you can post let me show you right on my little screen here in just a quick second uh first of all you can post on facebook that's usually the most popular p place to post your uh, finished paintings to, to display to everybody to show me um it's very cool to see them all together to see all the little different versions all the little twists that you put on them so let me show you real quick check this out so i'm on the aaron bun paints facebook page um, you want to click the event that this was. So this is happening now. This is uh, this event here. Um, I'm just going to edit it to allow for posting for everybody. And I'll show you how to post in quick second. At settings. There we go. Update. Great. So when you go, you can go to the discussion. You can add a post. And you can post your beautiful photo with whatever little description you want. You can just post the photo. You can say thanks. Whatever it is. But add the post in the discussion. That way all the... All the photos are all together. I know I'm off screen, but you know, that's just the way it is right now. <laughs> so Facebook is a great option. Um, Discord is an option for those who are more familiar and uh, like Discord, you can do that. I'm just gonna post all the socials there. You can choose whatever one you like. Instagram is a great place. You can just tag me, Aaron Bun Paints on Instagram. Do hashtag Aaron Bun Paints, whatever you want. Um, Twitter, if anyone does Twitter, you can do Twitter. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any paintings on Twitter, but that's cool. You can be the first. <laughs> all of them are right there. I'm Aaron Bun Paints on all of those places. If you want to see um, a repeat video of this, it will be available on Twitch actually right now and after I'm done. Um, so you can always go back and rewatch. Otherwise it will be on YouTube eventually. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wish to be notified when I upload next. I'm still behind on posting paintings. So you might get some notifications for some uh, other paintings, but in the meantime, you'll just be notified every time I post there. So that's great. Um, for those again, joining on Twitch for the first time, thank you so much for making the effort to come here. Um, love that a lot of you were chatting today. It's always so nice to know like who's watching, who's painting along. Um, if you'd like, you're welcome to follow me, the little purple button that says follow. It's a free thing to do. Um, it literally just uh, notifies you anytime I'm live. So if you want to tune in during the week when I'm painting, just to hang out, I can be your background noise as you work from home or as you're cooking a meal, feel free to follow. If you like, no pressure. Thank you, Kat, for the follow doing that right away. Um, and again, subscribing. We talked about subscribing a bit. If you'd like to support me as an artist who's doing this again for free all the time, I really appreciate it. It's the only way I'm able to continue doing this. Um, subscribing. I'm just going to put some little uh, prime. There we go. Some info there. Again, you can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. So just feel free to ask me questions about that. Um, you can sub for a cost if you are willing to do that. Only if you're able to. Thank you so much. And then there's also donation links in the about section on my Twitch page, on my Facebook page every time. There are tip links as well. So if you'd prefer to just give a certain amount for one time or for a bunch of times, I really appreciate that as well. Interact e-transfers, PayPal. There's even a credit card option on Twitch. Yeah, so so lots of different things. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my spiel. I think that's all. Um, I'm here hanging out. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer questions about the painting, about my streams, anything at all. We can just chat and have fun for a little bit. So <laughs> feel free to hang out. Um, otherwise, thanks for coming if anyone's signing off. I'll catch up on comments now.